Welcome to www.learnquickbooksfree.com. That's right. This is where you get to learn QuickBooks for free. All right, and uh, Peggy went ahead and sent us a question, and it reads, Our country club has just purchased QuickBooks 2012. We have set up the company and input customers and vendors. We have created invoices. Now we're trying to send statements. However, our aging is says now, but it's not working correctly. If we have an invoice date at 3-30-12 and statement mailing date is on 4-6-12, it says the billing is 1 to 30 days past due. How do we set the aging correctly? Well, if I understand your question correctly, let me show you what I think is a very quick and simple solution to your problems. All right, Peggy. So uh, I came under Customer Center, and I'm going to go to one of the customers as an example. And under Additional Info, there should be something that says terms and I believe you probably have it due on receipt which is why it probably says it's past due and this is just my best guess over here going according to what I read off your question so if you change it to net 30 or give it some kind of net or just don't have one but I would say change it to net 30 whatever the terms are I think that will change it to where it's not going to say past due because usually past due means it's past the net, which could only mean, in my opinion, due on receipt. So give that a try. When you change the net 30, you're going to hit OK, and you can go and check an invoice. And at that point in time, over here, this is where you know it should default to net 30. And you should change that over here in the invoice as well. See if that works. If it doesn't work, um, try to give me a little bit better explanation of how you have your settings right now and that will help me out a little bit more but I have a feeling that will do the trick and uh, that there you go so if you have any other questions anybody else feel free to go to our forum post a question on our forum let me show you the form so alright on our website you'll see a subsection over here called forum click on that All right, we're at the forum, and basically, if it's your first time, you're not going to have a username and password. Simply register over here and uh, put in your uh, info, and you're going to get a password assigned. And then you'll be able to log in and post a question. All right, Peggy, as you can see, I went ahead and posted a question on your behalf over here. And this is where I will be responding as well with a link to this video email. And that concludes this lesson. Uh, you can visit our website at www.learnquickbooksfree.com to watch more videos.